Hey there, this is Axel with His and Hers Gaming, and today I am doing an armor showcase for Ratchet and Clank, a rift apart, the character Rivet. Um, there are, let's see here, uh, like 13 armors in the game, five that come with the uh, uh, deluxe edition, and then the eight that you can find. The five that come with the deluxe edition don't give you any benefits or anything. Um, the eight that you find give you all the various bonuses that you see on the right hand side there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to show off the armor here. And then I'm going to go go back out to here and I'll do a quick once around like that and show it off in game. Uh, so that you see what you're playing with. And I am doing all of this in 4K so that you can see all the pretty details. So we're going to start off with Galactic Ranger. The Galactic Ranger set increases your melee damage by 20% when you find it all. And that's the general look. Here is how Rivet looks in the Galactic Ranger set. And here's how it looks in game. That's the Galactic Ranger set. Moving on, we have our Robot Pirate set. Robot Pirate set reduces damage from pirates. And this is what it looks like on Rivet. And here's what it looks like on Rivet in game. Um, next we have Carbonox Advanced. This one increases bolts gained by 20%. All of these perks, by the way, are passive. So no matter what suit you're wearing, you get all the perks. Carbonox Advanced. And here's what it looks like in-game. Far more silver-ish in-game than you've got there. So next, after that, you've got the robot disguise. And that's supposed to make you look like a robot. You see her wearing this at one point at the beginning. And this is what it looks like. far as reminds me of the emoji uh, robots from Doctor Who a little bit um, next after the robot disguise we've got Lombex Praetorian this one increases Raritanium by 20% oh yeah the robot disguise uh, damage from nefarious enemies decrease by 20% this one increases your raritanium by 20%. Again, these are passive. So you get them no matter what. And this is the Lombax Praetorian. That one. Pretty cool looking, honestly. There we go. That's Rivet in the Lombax Praetorian set. And then next up we have Q Force. This is not associated with QAnon. Q Force. Q Force uh, reduces damage from goons for less by 20%. And this is what it looks like in game on Rivet. Moving on, 
we have Captain Star Shield, 20% XP gained. Captain Star Shield armor. Looks like Captain Star Shield's armor. <clears throat> of course, stylized to fit long backs. And this is what it looks like running around. And that is the Captain Star Shield armor for Rivet. Next up, we have Wasteland Gear. This is what I've been mostly running around in. Wasteland Gear is a cool looking yellow and black setup. One of my favorite styles. Of course, you can mix and match these. Like I said, the bonuses are not from wearing them. The bonuses are just from holding them. So, um, And then you've got the hacker armor. Uh, Wasteland gear, by the way, reduces damage from indigenous creatures by 20%. Hacker armor is the first in the um, deluxe edition stuff. So it has no bonuses associated with it. <clears throat> so that's the hacker armor. This is a quick look at it in game. And again, this is from buying the deluxe edition. You cannot find this in game. You have to purchase it. But it does not provide any additional bonuses. It is Fashion only. I almost said fashion souls. <laughs> uh, Rebellion is next. Again, another deluxe edition armor. This is Rebellion. Uh, in game. It's the red vest pants look. Swirl around. That's what it looks like in game. And moving on to our next armor. For Rivet, we have Android. All yellow aesthetic. Again, Deluxe Edition armors do not have any bonuses associated with them. They are for purchase only. You cannot find them in-game, and this is one of them. And that's what it looks like wearing it in-game. And... After that, we've got Imperial. Imperial, again, is another deluxe edition. It is got the white and orange aesthetic going on. That's what it looks like just on her. And here's what it looks like in-game on Rivet. These armors have a pretty sleek look. Um, and last but not least, we have... Oops, I could have just done that. Scavenger armor. This one kind of has a steampunk-ish look. And this is what it looks like in-game. And that is all of them. So yeah, this has been a showcase for Rivet's armor.
And this is just Rivet in her plain outfit. Quick once around here. Quick once around here. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll be doing another one of these showing off all those same armors on Ratchet. There are some differences. I was going to do a side by side, but my last side by side video was very difficult and took forever. My computer sucks. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for more.